guys today's video is on the health benefits of humidifier versus air purifier. Air purifiers versus humidifiers can both impact the air you breathe in your home, but they each serve a different purpose with unique benefits. What is the impact of air purifiers and air humidifiers on our health if used incorrectly? If you have a baby at home, which device should you use? In this video, I will explain how each device works and the best ways to use them safely, as well as whether you should use an air purifier or a humidifier in different situations. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give us a like and share and subscribe. Now let's get started. Air purifiers and air humidifiers both products are commonly used and are great for people. Both of these products are beneficial in one or another way. The air purifier is useful for those who want clean air. It is also beneficial for allergy and asthmatic patients or sufferers. On the other side, air humidifier is useful for those individuals who have irritated respiratory tracts due to the dry atmospheric air or environment. An air purifier is used to clean the air by removing or otherwise inactivating pollutants from the air. The two basic components of an air purifier are a fan and a filter surface, though the specific filtration technology can vary, from traditional HEPA filters to ionizers to brand new PICO technology. In most air purifiers, air is passed through the unit, pollutants are trapped or removed on a filter, and clean air is emitted back into the room. Air purifiers do not add any moisture to the air. A humidifier, on the other hand, does not clean the air. It simply adds water to the air by boiling water into steam, vibrating water droplets into the air with ultrasonic technology, or by evaporating the water using a fan and a wick. Note that ultrasonic humidifiers might also introduce tiny mineral particles into the air if tap water is used instead of distilled water. The health effects of these particles are not very well known, but research suggests that they could have some effects on lung tissue. The EPA recommends using distilled water and regularly cleaning and disinfecting your humidifier. Air purifiers and humidifiers have different impacts on air quality that can affect our health. Some air purifiers are designed to reduce allergens in the air, such as dust mites, pet dander, pollen or mold spores. Many people who suffer from allergies or asthma use an air purifier to reduce their exposure to these triggers. These allergens are carried on particles floating in the air, often so tiny they become suspended for hours at a time. Traditional air filters capture these particles, while air purifier can effectively destroy allergens. Humidifiers, on the other hand, have no impact on allergen levels. Instead, they may help symptoms feel less severe if your nasal passages are dry and irritated. Note that humidifiers do not reduce allergy or asthma symptoms, and they might even increase the risk of allergies and asthma. Moreover, if a humidifier is not properly cleaned, it can develop mold and actually introduce mold spores into the air, triggering allergy and asthma symptoms. Common air purifiers capture particles in the air, though some particles that carry viruses are so tiny, they can pass through regular air filters. Though an air purifier cannot help an existing cold, it might ease your symptoms by removing other respiratory irritants from the air. A humidifier may help relieve a stuffy nose and the discomfort of colds or flu. The right level of humidity may also provide a protective benefit from viruses. Increasing the humidity in the air to a range of 40 to 60 percent reduces the infectiousness of viruses. It is also important to understand that a humidifier cannot cure you once you are already sick, but can make symptoms less miserable by preventing dry, scratchy nose and throat. An air purifier does not add moisture to the air, so it will not help with excessively dry air, which can exacerbate a range of respiratory ailments, including asthma, bronchitis and sinusitis. A humidifier increases the moisture in the air, thus increasing relative humidity and improving dry air conditions. When the air is too dry, often during winter when the heater is on, it can irritate your nose and throat. Wondering whether you need an air purifier or humidifier? Either one might be better than the other in different circumstances. A humidifier can be better in the nursery if the main problem is dry air, and they can prevent dry, scratchy nose and throat. Using a cool mist humidifier may help infants who have cough and cold symptoms by shrinking nasal passages and helping them breathe easier. 
However, a warm mist humidifier should not be used, as it can have the opposite effect by causing nasal passages to swell, making breathing more difficult. When humidifiers are used to maintain an ideal relative humidity of 40 to 60 percent, they can also reduce the infectiousness of bacteria and viruses. For long-term air quality, an air purifier can reduce pollutants in the air, including potential toxins from tobacco smoke, plastics, allergens, and asthma triggers like mold spores, or pet dander and pollen, and other possible respiratory irritants. This makes an air purifier a better choice for a baby's room year-round. An air purifier can help reduce allergens levels in the air. A unit with a HEPA filter can help trap particles. Though humidifiers may help soothe a stuffy nose or other irritation, they can actually make allergies worse because higher humidity improves the survival rates of dust mites. A humidifier can ease asthma symptoms if dry air is also a problem, but it does not affect asthma itself, and higher humidity levels are actually associated with asthma attacks because they can trigger the growth of harmful bacteria, dust mites, and mold. Since asthma attacks are often triggered by pollutants in the air, an air purifier that can remove those pollutants is better for asthma. Because both an air purifier and a humidifier perform completely different functions, they can be used together, even in the same room. However, you should avoid placing them too close together, because the moisture from the humidifier could clog filters, or otherwise limit the effectiveness of the air purifier. For instance, if a HEPA filter were to be consistently damp, because the output of a humidifier was directed into it, the dampness could promote the growth of mold, or bacteria on the filter. This can avoid it by placing them at opposite ends of the room. To operate effectively, both air purifiers and humidifiers need to be properly maintained. For a humidifier, this means frequent cleaning. It's also important to use distilled water with ultrasonic humidifiers to avoid adding mineral particles to the air, which might be harmful to your lungs, particularly those of young children and infants. For an air purifier, maintenance primarily means replacing filters regularly. Remember that a humidifier must be kept clean, ideally allowed to dry, and be wiped down every few days after use. Otherwise, mold can form inside or on the humidifier, and it will then emit mold spores into the air, triggering the kinds of allergy or asthma attacks you want to avoid. So that's all for our video about the health benefits of humidifier versus air purifier that you may want to look into right away. Thanks for watching if you enjoyed our video and found it helpful please do like comment and share this subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.